Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of used vehicle sales dot safety and security roddy.com.au. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2008 model uh, FG Ford Falcon Trayback Ute automatic that I have for sale right here on my yard. Now, firstly, why is the dog like that? Well, because it's after school, the kids have come in and decided to play dress ups with the fucking dog. So that's why. Um, now, where was I? Let's get serious about this. So first thing, I took this car on a trade-in from a fella, and guess what he bought? Another Ford Falcon FG Ute, but one a few years newer, and so he just upgraded. So the Ute itself's in great condition. He used to use it for glass. He had a rack on the side, and I'll show you where he had it bolted on, to, um, to uh, carry his big panes of glass on it. So it is the LPG one. Let's go and have a look. Get out of the way, Roddy. He's video bombing. Wait, yeah. So if you have a look up the sides here, you'll see that there's no dents or anything like that. That's always a good sign. I'll look for that before I buy them. Have a look here. See how the tyres are wearing evenly across the surfaces? What a wonderful sign that all the suspension geometry and steering components are doing all everything that they should. If you go over and look across the front, if you get up close, you'll see that there are a few little stone chips if you get right up close. Get back here. Meh. What stone chips? Get up there and hey, they are there. Now. Why does it have two LPG stickers? Good question, I'm glad you asked. It's because it's got two LPG tanks and I'll show you as we go for a walk around. So if you have a look up the side there, it has got a dent. He told me he dropped a little F-bomb when he backed around and hit something. So uh, that's it, that's the dent, that's the issue with the entire car. So let's go around this side and I'll show you everything that's going on. So it comes with those alloy wheels, which I think look really nice and they suit the car. And tinted windows. So you can video bomb yourself whilst videoing. <laughs> so it is pissing down rain, so I am getting satched. So let's get inside the car and uh, get out of that. So you can see here, can you see that there where my dirty finger is? I don't know if you can read it, but it says July 2008. That's where we put them on. So let's jump in here and have a look. It's got the, uh, the cruise control set up on there on the wheel. You control the volume and everything there. It's got the central locking and all that. Everything's working like it should. You can, except I can't put the keys in left-handed. There we go. There we go. I can, I can. It is automatic. It is like all the Bluetooth. See it flashing there? All that sort of stuff. Radio's working like a short. Aircon's icy cold. I'll give her a start-up for you. Sometimes the gas takes two or three more cranks like that than, than the others to start. But it starts and runs beautifully. does everything it should. All good there. So, um, you can have a good look through there. Got the, the typical FG stuff happening inside there. You can see everything there. The condition of those seats, pretty damn good. And let's have a look over the back here. You can, oh look, there has been some evidence of some sort of wear there. But, I'm just gonna put the phone down for a sec. I'll pull that seat forward. And then, and now I'm tangled, fuck it. There we go. Ah, shit, look at this. I'm tangled and I can't go anywhere. There we go. Got it. So you can just whip this one forward and have a look in the back. Can you see the space in there? Because there's not much. There's enough there to put your lunchbox and that's about it. So, um, just wanted to show you that that's the space going on there in the, in the back of this. Now, we do have the alloy tray. It is included. I've got the tape measure in here. So if you can see, I've just pre-positioned that one earlier. And you can see that the tray itself is... Just over 22, uh, 2250 long. And so that's the usable space inside the tray and width wise. Wow, shit, that hurt. It flicked around. I don't like using the tapes one handed, it hurts. <laughs> so there we go. So she's 18, 1870 usable inside. Oh, a little bit less, because see I'm hooked over the end over there. So if I drop it inside, there we go. Let's just call it 1800 to square it off, 1830. So that's the dimensions of the tray. Now the tray has been used. You can see there's a few marks in there, but all in all, it's in good shape. It's nice and straight. And look down under the chassis there. You can see she's all pretty clean and tidy. There's one of the gas tanks. The gas tanks are all in date. And I've got the gas certificate with this car as well. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. It's got the alloy wheels on the back as well as the front, which is always a bonus. <laughs> so we come around here, you can see Everything's all nice and straight there. Got the shin buster. So if you walk too close, crack, drop your shin into that. Drop an F-bomb. Everyone's happy except you, because it hurts. Everyone else thinks it's funny and they laugh. 
it's what my kids do anyway so it is the triple m tray which is the pretty much top of the range one uh, if we walk down here and you can see again there's the other gas tank in under there and there's all the gas stuff so two tanks in there with around about i think 80 liters gas storage so if you have a look down the side here it's all in good shape have a look inside here everything like i said everything works like it should the car's got a few k's on it but i'll tell you it's in bloody good shape because the fellow who had it before had it for a lot a lot of years and looked after it extremely well so when the cars come into our yard they go through three different levels of tests we do a road test a yard test and a mechanical inspection this one passed through them all beautifully so there was no real problem anything there whatever it was was fixed up so when they come in we drive them on a very specific test track we listen for finally with our finely tuned ears listening for defects and things like that this car was all good we then put them up on the hoist up on that raised roof up there that's where our roadworthy inspector gets under them has a look under the cars and we bring them all up to a very specific standard and if they don't meet that standard off they go off they go to an auction that's why you don't buy cars from auctions so blokes like me dump our garbage so this car came through all those tests beautifully so um but i don't expect you to believe me not one bit go and have a look at my facebook page and if you can find a car seller who's brave enough to use facebook and has his reviews turned on then you should pay attention to those reviews our reviews across the board are outstanding sure there's a few goons who want to slag us you can't stop that that's normal but go and have a look at them and the reason i'm so proud of our reviews is because i do genuinely prepare our cars up to a very high standard and so many of our buyers come from way yonder they'll come from cairns way out west somewhere they catch a plane down to here jump in the car and drive home and so if you do prepare shit cars people write shit reviews and it's as simple as that so that's it for me sales pitch i'm not going on anymore about how much we prepare the cars but let me tell you we genuinely prepare them properly so have a look right you can see here that we are on dirt you can see that our yard well the gates are closed and there's and we're off the beaten track a bit we are a little bit hard to find the reason for all that is because i keep the overheads right down i video the cars i don't have salesmen i don't have concrete i don't have flags no one's going to pounce on you when you come here because you have to make an appointment to come so that someone can see you and so so i can do all that I can keep all the costs down allows me to put the money back into the cars and that's why the reviews are so important because the cars are prepared genuinely and properly so that's my sales pitch <laughs> so the other thing is all the prices are fixed yeah so you need to make an appointment to come on down so that someone can be here to see you because we're not always standing by for people just to wander in um, the other thing is all the prices are fixed if you ask me am i negotiable i'll be like yeah i'm negotiable but do you really want to pay more <laughs> so no i joke with it but in seriousness i can't take out what we put back into the cars and so um that's why all the prices are fixed just being upfront with that and it's already extremely well priced anyway so what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for that's a good question let me tell you firstly is it comes with rego out till whatever that says there um you'll see that scroll up you'll see it there it's got all your stamp duties transfer fees it's a genuine drive away price there's nothing else to pay the car has a current roadworthy certificate, which you need to register it across to you, which we do all that here. No need for you to fill out any, uh, go to Queensland Transport and get sneezed on by all the grubs, because we do all that for you. So that's all included in the price. Sign, 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 pay up, drive off. It's that easy. It comes with a current gas certificate, which is really important if you buy an LPG car. So that's all been done as well. So the gas certificate's all good. You need that to do the registration as well. It's got guaranteed no money owing guaranteed never written off guaranteed no stolen not stolen i'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down it's got some other free thing what is it ah freshly serviced so when we do the mechanical inspections on our cars we service them as well now you don't have any scheduled maintenance to do for the next 10,000 k's or six months whichever comes first if you need help with your finance there is a link up the top of the page that says something like no deposit finance you can click on that put your details in and our finance fella he'll give you a quote on how much it'll cost you per week to own this fine automobile or if you just want to come and pay cash you can do that i'd rather an internet transfer or pay with a card because if it's cash i've got to count it and stuff and i get it wrong and the wife growls at me causes issues look at that dog he hardly looks like a tough dog <laughs> so uh, you can pay by those means cash bank transfer however you want to do it and what else have i got I think that's all. Well, I'm Dean Argent. Thanks for watching this video. If you need any more info, feel free to drop us a text or, or uh, give us a call, sing out, whatever, and we can go from there. Thanks for watching this video. I look forward to meeting you soon. Bye now.